Hello, welcome to this short video highlighting how to set up and use the Talking Scientific Calculator app which has been created by Adam Croser. It's only available on the Play Store for iPad and iPhones and it costs about £5 to install. There are one or two uh, very good videos already out there which can sort of show you how to use the calculator as a calculator. This video is more focused on um, explaining how to make it useful for a totally blind user to use. Um, so we'll get started. Well, we'll show it very quickly first in uh, sort of standard mode. So we'll launch the app. Okay, if we carry out a calculation, seven times eight. Seven. Multiply eight equals fifty-six. As you as you can hear, the app talks. It announces what you've typed in. If you want to hear the result again, you tap the top of the screen. Fifty-six. Okay, and there you go. Um, if I just clear that. Clear. You can make the calculator silent if you wish. In silent mode, to click silent, and now it doesn't talk anymore. Or we'll switch it back on. Talk mode. Uh, and you can also make it high contrast. High contrast. For those students that uh, would like it as such, really. I'll switch it back to low, low contrast. Low contrast. Okay, there are other settings you can do in within the calculator, but again, I'll leave that to other videos which are already out there. So, to make it uh, useful for a blind user to use, first thing you need to do is um, turn on the iPad's self-voicing system. Uh, so, to do that, I'll close this down. Okay, and I'll launch Settings. So within settings in general, what you need to do is go down to the go down to accessibility, which is that one. And at the bottom, there's one called accessibility shortcut. And then tap on voiceover. Okay, and that's pretty much switched it on. Just from experience, we also found that you need to switch off something called audio ducking. I'm no expert at what that does, but it did seem to interfere with uh, the self-voicing function of the iPad. So we'll go and do that now. Back to accessibility. Up at the top is voiceover. And then audio. And then audio ducking. Make sure that one's switched off. Okay, so it really is ready to go now. Again, I'll close that down. Okay, so to switch voiceover on from this point, all you need to do is tri triple click the home button. One, two, three. Okay, let's try once more. One, two, three. Voiceover on. That's better. Landscape. Home button to the right. FaceTime. Okay, so voiceover. Double tap to open. Voiceover is on. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so we put the, uh, the app launch in the bottom left corner so everybody knows where it is. Dot mail music safari talk seek out. And if I double tap that, double tap talk seek out. It launches zero. Okay. From here, it's very much as before, except it's a slightly different method of um, inputting your calculations. So, all the user needs to do is put the finger on the screen. Two. And voiceover will announce what the button is. Five. Move it. Four. Move your finger around. Seven. And obviously it tells you what it is. There's two real sort of main options here to uh, input it. If you double tap now at this point. Seven. Uh, you get the number seven and the, uh, the app's voice announces that for you. The other way to input it is to again slide your finger around. Eight. Nine. Times. And tap the screen anywhere else with another finger. Multiply. Not six. Once again. Six. Equals. Equals forty-two. Okay, there you go. As before, if you want to hear the, if you want to hear what the, uh, what the answer is, if you can, if you go to the top of the screen. Five eight. Subtract memory plus square left correct forty-two. There you go. Forty-two. Forty-two. Okay. So that is um, pretty much how a blind user can make use of this app. I should say at this point there are many, many, many uh, different options and settings to do with the iPad voiceover system. Okay, I'm not going to go into that now, there really are so many. Uh, but the user can tune the, um, 
the voiceover system to suit however they like to use it. Okay, uh, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching this short video.